Hello viewers, welcome back to Daily Retro. Today we've got a very special episode for you guys. So last weekend, as of recording, I think that was the 16th of October, myself and the wife went down to a new arcade bar, or relatively new arcade bar, in Bristol. Uh, this is called Four Quarters. I believe they've got uh, branches in uh, other cities as well. Um, their website in the link in the description will have more details on that. Um, but yeah, this, I took a few videos there and uh, thought I'd just do a quick video on the bar itself. Um, had about 30 different machines in total, I think. Yeah, really, really nice place to go just for a few hours. Um, definitely not as in-depth as places like Arcade Club in uh, Bury or Leeds or um, the new one in Blackpool. But for me, it's one of the closest places I can get my arcade fix um, other than Alex Nintendo Arcade's uh, upcoming... Um, sort of arcade in uh, the cave in Stroud um, but yeah it's a really really cool place to go just for a few drinks really really nice craft beer and yeah I'm just gonna go through the footage now and uh, narrate some really interesting features I, I found whilst we were there so these are the machines you're greeted with first at four quarters in Bristol um, it's on Park Street which is pretty much the center of Bristol um, but yeah it's a really nice tidy cabs um, it was a bit smaller sort of first impressions when you, I've walked in than I imagined but still a lot crammed into a small space um, some nice classic machines here Super Hang On, Tetris and Space Invaders um, as you can see there's a really nice bar that I mentioned has some really good beer there as well and yeah this is just a quick spin round from where you enter to sort of the main arcade area where you'll see a lot more machines And as you can see, the wife was on Space Invaders pretty much instantly. Um, they operate a quarter system here, so you actually buy quarters from the counter. You can bring your own, um, but this is just to stop people wandering off, the, wandering in off the street to play. Um, so this gives you sort of a nice, um, warm, fuzzy feeling, let's say, to, uh, to sort of play uninterrupted by people who aren't just there for for no real reason. Um, I think the quarters only cost us about £10 for 30 so that's 30 games for about £10 and um, as you can see Natasha was playing to uh, Indiana Jones pinball and um, this is the only pinball machine in there um, but yeah some really nice classic arcade machines behind um, we had a lot of fun on the two player cabinets One thing I was particularly impressed by was the fact that they've kept CRTs working in all of the cabinets that should have CRTs in. They've not just gone down the modern route of replacing them with LCDs. Um, and all the games I couldn't really fault like how they worked, whereas how they sort of were supposed to play. Um, this was a nice Neo Geo MVS multi system, and yeah, everything just felt like it should. Um, as you can see here, I was playing on Centipede. I've never actually played Centipede before. I've seen it a few, around at Arcade Club, I think. Um, very difficult game with the uh, trackball, but I had a lot of fun playing it nonetheless. Many an argument has been had between my wife and myself on uh, Street Fighter 2, so we tried not to play against each other too many times on this one, but um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, one thing to mention is it costs two credits to play the two player games, um, so you're not sort of getting extra value for money with the two player games, which is kind of unfortunate. So you're basically getting 15 multiplayer games together for that £10 I said we spent on the uh, 30 quarters. So um, yeah, but it was still a lot of fun and it made you sort of mix it up with what you wanted to play. And we found our 30 quarters easily lasted us a good three hour stint when we were just sort of relaxed playing. As you can see, spent a lot of time on uh, the crazy taxi stand-up cab. Um, really enjoyed this. Um, but yeah, so moving on, this is actually downstairs. Um, so this is like a console booth area where you could people can hire it out But you also can just go and play them as well um, as long as you're sort of um, Making purchases from the bar, etc um, But had lots of old consoles down there as you can see the Super Nintendo the PlayStation GameCube 
um, spotted an OS SC from the GameCube to the you know, nice modern display so everything looked nice and crisp. I was really impressed by the setup of the booths, they sort of had multiple consoles with some really nice cable wiring for the different controllers and consoles. Um, very easy to use for everyone who wants to use them. But yeah, that's it for this video guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this little video. Um, just a short one because I was having too much fun playing, but until next time, cheers.